guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Leti and this is Chaba. <laughs> and today we're here with a highly requested video. We're gonna go ahead and review seven different types of whips. So if you guys would like to go ahead and learn more about the different types of whips, then please keep on watching. Yes. Okay, so for all the gente que habla español, hoy les vamos a enseñar cómo usar las whips y las vamos a comparar. So, si quieren aprender sobre todas estas cremas, <laughs> este, sigan viendo. Okay. Alright guys, so we're back. Thank you guys for 40,000 subscribers. Gracias por 40,000 seguidores. Um, 40,000? Mm -hmm. That's insane, dude. Y perdón que en los últimos videos no hemos estado hablando en español. Um, we haven't been talking in Spanish in the last couple of videos. We were getting back into the groove of things. Es que se me olvida. Hay veces que se me olvida el español. Bruh. <laughs> no, pero sí, como apenas dejamos de hacer videos por mucho tiempo y apenas estamos como empezando otra vez, como que se nos fue el rollo, pero vi sus comentarios y mucha gente se queja de nuestro español, pero ¿saben qué? Hay unos que sí quieren verlos en español yeah. y, y lo vamos a hacer, porque ya iba a decir yo, like, ya, ya no lo voy a hacer en español porque todos dicen que no hablamos en español bien, but... Pero si quieren saber en español, so, we're gonna do it in Spanish too, guys, because a lot of people do want to, they, they want to... They want to learn in Spanish too, you know? Like, yeah, so we've seen a lot of comments, um, you know, saying that we're not talking in Spanish and they really want us to do it. And then there's comments saying that we suck at Spanish, so. <laughs> so we do suck, but yeah. we try our best to like. But we're trying to like make people happy or whatever, so. Yeah. And um, one more thing that I want to say, I hope you guys had a great Father's Day. Yes. Chava, show them your gift that you got. These guns, baby. He won't take it off. We got him a ring. My kids, they love me. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna start off with this Pastry Pride Premier. This, this, uh, this one is eight pounds, and they sell it at Smart and Final for fourteen ninety nine. This is our main whip. Yeah, this so, is the one I use all the time. This is the cream of Pastry Pride Premier, and we bought it at Smart and Final for fourteen ninety nine. This is the cream that we use always. This is our mera mera. So we're gonna compare the other ones to this to see which is the one that works best to this. Por si no hay Smart and Final en tu área. Luego right. sigue esta. So, this is another type of pastry pie. So, they sell this, um, they sell this one. In the in, gallon, in, too. In a huge box, too, but. Um, at Smart and Final, like five bucks. Yeah, it's like five bucks for this little one. And then they sell the other one, um, the big gallon. For, for $12.99. $12.99. This kind of. Mm -hmm. so, this one is also sold at Baker's Bodega for $4.99. Yeah. Okay, and then now we're going to go with Vanilla Whip and Ice. And I've never used this one, honestly. Um, but this one does cost uh, $5.99. Mm -hmm. And this one as well. This is the same. I mean, I, I don't even know the difference, but we're going to check right now. Mm -hmm. And this is Whip and Top. This is Whip and Ice, and this is Whip and Top. Mm -hmm. And the Whip and Top is $5.99 as well. Okay? You can find those at Baker's Bodega. Yeah. So, estos son de la um, marca Flavor Rate. Right? Y uh, no sabemos la diferencia porque se ven como que es la misma cosa, pero este dice que es Weaponized y este que es Weapon Top. Los dos son sabor vanilla. Las pueden encontrar en Baker's Bodega y cuestan $5.99 estas dos. Nunca las hemos uh, encontrado, so ahorita vamos a ver cómo sirve. Okay. Now we have better cream right here. This is Riches. That's the brand. And um, I got this one at AJ for $5.99, I think. Mm -hmm. Or was it $6.99? One of those. Mm -hmm. I think you could find it also at Baker's Bodega. But, I mean, I've never tried it either, but we're going to try it today. Okay, so, um, este es la, es riches, pero es la, like, es, les dice better cream ahí, que es como un tipo de um, relleno y también chantilly, de sabor vainilla. Nosotros usamos esta marca para nuestro chocolate, um, like, nuestro mousse de chocolate, yeah. pero uh, nunca hemos probado la vainilla. Cuesta como de 5 a 6 dólares y la compramos en A&J Cake and Candy en Glendora. No sé dónde más la pueden hallar. No la vi en Baker's Bodega, pero pueden intentarlo. Y ya. Yeah. Y pueden checar a lo mejor online. Tal mm -hmm. vez lo, lo vendan online. Mm -hmm. Y luego... Y luego es uh, Frost and Pride. This one, they also sell it at Baker's Bodega. And Smart and Final. And Smart and Final. Mm -hmm. I found it at Smart and Final for, I think, $4.99 or mm -hmm. how much was it? Around five bucks, yeah. And it's Frost and Pride. I've never tried this one either, honestly. And it is non dairy, but... It, um, also, it's vanilla. So, we're going to check it out and see how that works. So, esta es la marca Frost and Pride. Uh, se ve similar a la primera que les enseñamos, pero nunca la hemos intentado. Pero es muy similar porque dice que también no es non-dairy, como de 5 a 6 dólares. 
y sabor vanilla, vanilla. So vamos a compararlo también. Y luego la que más nos pidieron, the most requested one for us to try is the Sam's Club Vanilla Whipped Icy. Yes, this one. Um, was it hard to get? No, it wasn't hard to get. They just, I don't know why they weren't like, they were trying not to like give it to me that, to that day. But Maybe because of COVID or whatever? I think so, but it was, it, it was $20.99 for this. How many pounds is it? $20.99? Yeah, for 13 Ooh, that's pounds. A good deal. For 13 pounds. Flip it up, it's like... So this is already whipped? Yeah, this is already whipped. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is ready. You just scoop it and use it. Oh, wow. And they sell it to you super cold, not frozen. But when um, to store it, you have to keep it in the fridge. So make sure you have a huge like, spot oh, yeah. for this on the fridge. So esta es la que nos pidieron mucho de... Um, comparar y esta es la, la crema de Sam's Club entonces esta la tienen que pedir con la, en la panadería para que se la den yeah. Tuvi, dice Chava que tuvo un poquito de problema que no se la querían dar pero no sabemos si es por lo que está pasando con el coronavirus o qué pero esta costó 20 dólares con 99 centavos para 13 um, libras y es muy bueno este precio uh, nunca la hemos probado pero ja, usamos nosotros la crema de buttercream de yeah. Sam's Club so, a ver cómo nos va y maybe, no sé, podemos cambiar nuestro web a yeah. ver qué. So, mucha, gente, mucha gente sí lo usa. I mean, mucha gente me ha dicho que ellos usan este, um, uh -huh. este producto. Ya, yeah, so, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, vamos a empezar con esta y luego con esta y a los demás. Uh, vamos a empezar y luego les voy a dar información sobre la crema y la vamos a probar y ver cómo... Cómo la... Cómo me like okay, So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with this one. I'm gonna whip it. And I'm gonna, we're gonna taste it, and we're gonna ice with it. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna pipe it. Check out the consistency, yeah. see how it whips up, how long it takes, and then um, just give you some basic information in regards to the whip. We'll start with this one since it's the one we're gonna be comparing it to. Yeah. All right, guys. So let's get started. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and start with Pastry Pride Premier, which is our preferred whip. Yes. And like I said, you can get the Smart Final for fourteen ninety nine, and they sell it to you frozen. So make sure you thaw it. In the micro you can put it in the microwave honestly that's what i do when i really need it like fast i put it in the microwave and i put it in there for like five minutes and it's already cool you know it doesn't thaw all the way but just shake it make sure you shake it well and we're gonna shake it well. <laughs> so este es el pastry pie premiere el que nosotros preferimos Uh, viene congelado, pero él le gusta descongelarlo en el microondas para más rápido antes de usarlo y meterlo al asegúrense de batirlo. Es para que todos los, todos los ingredientes se, se mixen bien, uh -huh. ¿no? Se lo va a echar y él usualmente lo llena. Um, enseñarles bien. So don't fill it up all the way, honestly, uh -huh. and don't fill it up like halfway either, because trust me, this thing like goes like with a little bit. That's probably like two cups, okay? And it's gonna go pretty much like a long ways, honestly. So make sure you don't put that much. It's, it's, it's about a fourth, okay? So now we're gonna stir it. And we're gonna set it and forget it. <laughs> All right guys, before he stirs it, let me just go ahead and give you some information in regards to that. He's gonna stir it about um, five minutes, right? Yeah, I'm gonna stir it for about five up. minutes. Mm -hmm. And you make sure you watch it because... You don't want it to over whip and get stiff. Yeah, because once okay. it gets, yeah, it gets too stiff and it has, has like too much air, so just watch it and make sure you don't, you know, just leave it and go to the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Sigan mirándolo, um, porque lo van a hacer como 5 minutos, pero no quieren que lo mezcle de más, porque se puede hacer como tieso. Entonces, sí, yeah. hay que mezclarlo y les enseñamos ahorita que cabe, cómo se debe de ver la consistencia. Yeah, mix it on medium speed, okay? Don't put it on high. Alright guys, so he went ahead and whisked it, and this is the final result. Este es el resultado de cómo debe de verse cuando ya está batido. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it out. Check it out. It's super white. It's like ultra white. I love this one because it's ultra white, literally. Miren, qué hermosura. He's gonna go ahead and pipe it and show you how it works. Para enseñarles cómo funciona la crema. Okay, so this um, whip can actually like topping the cake or actually for filling. It has a soft texture and has a sweet taste. Um, and you can add like your own filling. You've seen us add it all the time. So basically they're saying here on their website that storing this whip, you have to keep it frozen. So um, thaw under 
refrigeration for 24 hours. Chava already told you how heat does it. That's beautiful. Dude. Shake well before using and do not freeze this liquid if it's already been thawed. So once you have thawed it, don't freeze it. Just put it back in the fridge. Um, so this is just store remaining in the fridge. Este producto um, va a estar congelado, pero ya cuando lo, aún lo abren, ya no lo pueden congelar otra vez. Lo tienen que dejar en el refrigerador, um, así con líquido. Está bien. El producto está bueno por 12 meses. Si está, si no está abierto y está congelado, um, si está nomás en el refrigerador, o so si ya lo, lo has abierto y está nomás en tu congelador, es 21 días. Entonces, si ya lo tienen decorado en su pastel, su pastel puede durar fresco, la crema, adentro del refrigerador 5 a 7 días. It's ultra white. I, I love it. ¿No me lo la No, I got it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's real nice. It's um, fluffy. It's not, it, it doesn't have too much air. You know, it, um, obviously you try like to take out all the air from it when you put it in the piping bag. Yeah, just grab a little bit. It's really like not that sweet. It's perfect. It's perfect, honestly. It's fluffy, it's perfect. It then doesn't have a nasty aftertaste. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't taste it. It's real good. All right, so let's go and move on to the second one. All right, guys, so the second one that we're going to be reviewing will be the Sam's Club Vanilla Whipped Icing. Yes. The second one we're going to compare will be the Sam's Club Whip. I'm excited, dude. I've never seen it in my life, and I want to see it. All right, so let's. And I want to taste it. Let's open it. So how do we open this? I've never opened it, so it has a little ring right here. So I think you could put your hand in there. Oh, don't put your hand in there. <laughs> <laughs> put like a put like a, a, a some scissors or the salvador. Wait your hand. <laughs> put your hand. But just be careful because this thing is <laughs> It looks crazy, it looks white. Yeah. So you gotta like open it from all four sides. It looks nice. Oh wow, dude, that's super white. Nice, dude. I love it. So this one's already whipped. You don't have to whip it. No, you don't have to whip this one. Oh, esta ya está um. Ya está mixeada y ya está este um. Con volumen o <laughs> esponjosa. Ya está esponjosa. Ya tienes que mezclar. Ya está esponjosa. Wow. So aquí dice que es mejor tenerlos um congelado y igual que el otro tienen que descongelarlo en el refrigerador por 24 horas. Uh, puedes decorarlo como quieras y agregarle colores como quieras. Um, so this one looks a little grainy though. You see that? Come on now. It's a little grainy. I don't know if that's going to affect it, but I don't really like that. So this one, it says that it comes frozen as well and to keep frozen before opening. And then it says thaw in the refrigerator for 24 hours before you. You can decorate it as desired, add colors and flavors as you want. And after that, same as the pastry pride, um, once you've opened it, make sure you um, put it back in the refrigerator. Don't refreeze. So just leave it in the refrigerator. This one doesn't give me a shelf life. Like, like I said, it looks grainy. Se mira como que tiene granitos. Eso no me gusta a mí. So, vamos a ver si... A ver cómo funciona. Yeah. Y luego lo probamos. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So we're going to see how it works, you guys. And then we'll go ahead and try it to see how it tastes. I'm excited to try that. So I don't know if it's um if that's how it's supposed to be or not, but we're gonna check it out, okay? No this sabe one, mal. This one's a little bit sweeter though, and it has an aftertaste of like sweetness. Okay guys, so this is not that bad. It is sweeter and it does have a small aftertaste. Like a s I don't know how to describe. It's like a sugary aftertaste. But it's not bad. It's sweeter than the pastry pie though. Yeah. The pastry pie taste is lighter. It's not a bad whip. It's not. I mean, I wouldn't buy it though, but... I was we'll rate them at the end. Yeah, I'm still sticking in that one. Wait, wait. I'm we'll still sticking in that one right now. We'll rate them at the I'm end. I'm still sticking in that one. <laughs> the one that we're going to be um, comparing it is going to be the pastry pie, just the regular pink one. La que vamos a comparar es la pastry pie, nomás la regular que está rosita. Esa tiene la misma información básicamente en la página de web que la morada. So yeah. this one has the same information in the website. Basically, it comes frozen, thaw it on the fridge 24 hours before use, and once you put it back, it's gonna be yeah. um, and so in the fridge. All the pastry pies that I've seen are non-dairy, so that's just a big um. Okay. So, so this is non-dairy, and the other one is non-dairy as well. And this one contains dairy, the Sam's Club one. Yeah. It doesn't say non-dairy, so. so. I'm sure it does. All right, so. Let's go. Here you shake it, well, guys. 
So look, watch, check it out. See how yellow it is already? You can already tell a color difference in this one. Uh, we're gonna whip it. This one takes a little bit longer than the other one to whip, okay? So just know that it's normal. And just make sure it's cold. Esta um, dura un poquito más tiempo para batirse y dice que eso es normal. Esta es, tiene que estar muy frío, okay, para que funcione uh, rápido y luego luego se le ve que el color es más como amarillito. Sí. All right, guys. So there it is. Yeah. It still has the different like off white. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. It's not my favorite cup of tea. The purple one is way better than this one. Yeah. So, this should be, should be, um, not so bad, but as I say, comparing this with the monada, it's better. Okay, look. But it's a good alternative. Yeah. If there's no monada, I use this one. Uh huh. So, um. Now I'm going to show you how it works. How do you do it? Do you guys want to see a trick? So, so way you can take out all the air. Make sure you like push it down. Down, 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 down. para quitar todo el aire. Las. Y luego cuando la metas, también escúchalo para abajo así, como aplastándola. Make sure you smash it a little bit, you guys, to remove the air as you're putting it in. <laughs> so luego luego se ve el color diferente. ¿Qué es ese? My dreams. So it has more taste than the pastry pie premiere. Yeah. Like it's sweeter, and it doesn't really have an aftertaste. A little one. Like. It does have a little. Like a metal. Yeah. Metal aftertaste. Like pennies. Like pennies. But it's slightly. Yeah. Not that much. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna be go, um, going ahead and trying out is gonna be Rich's Better Cream in Vanilla. Um, this one is also non-dairy, and it's pretty much like the other ones, right? So yeah, go ahead, give so them some. So this is pretty much um, you have to keep refrigerated or frozen, shake well. It's non-dairy, um, and you do don't over whip it, obviously. Once you like, open it, you just keep yeah. it in the refrigerator, and it lasts us how many days? Once open? Once you open it, it lasts seven days, and once you put it on the cake. It lasts five days. In the fridge, right? And if it hasn't been opened, I believe it's 90 days in the freezer, right? 90 days, correct. Okay, so este producto dura 90 días en el congelador si no lo han abierto para nada. Después de que lo abran, ya saben que nomás lo dejamos en el refrigerador y dura 7 días um, después de abrir. Y si lo ponen ya en un pastel o relleno, dura solo 5 días con que esté refrigerado. Y me, um, asegúrense que lo mezclen igual que el otro y... Se mezcla como por lo mismo tiempo, 5 a 6 minutos. Ahí está. Eso está más grueso. This one, the difference that we see right away is that it's thicker. Yeah. You could pick it up in the camera as well. Yeah, it's a little thicker. So let's go ahead and whip it and see how it whips. All right, so this one's ready. Ya está lista esta. Se ve blanca también. No super blanca, pero sí se ve... Oh, this one's nice. I like it. Dice Chavo que está bonita y que le gusta. ¿Cómo se ve? Look at that. Como se ve suave, ¿no? Yeah, se ve suavecita. La neta que sí. No se mira like. Como ven que la de Sancho tenía como textura de bolita. Se mira bien granuda. La otra. Y esta se ve como suavecita. Suavecita. So this one looks soft. Smooth. Sorry. Oh yeah, that one is pretty. That's yeah, beautiful. Can you go pipe it? Thank you guys so much for all the love in my last video of me making my cakes and being so nice to me. <laughs> How did you like it? Dude, you got down honestly. Did it taste good though? For a, for a first time doing it? Like, for a first time doing a cake? What would you rate me? You know how to do it. You know how to make a cake. Why, I mean, what would you rate it though? I would rate it a good like, six. Oh, <laughs> that's bad. What in the flavor? Flavor? You got a good nine. How was the filling? Good? Uh, you got a ten, dude. The flavor? filling was good and everything, though? Hell yeah. Okay. It was really good. I whipped up the, the, the whip good and everything? Hell yeah. All right. Look at that, dude. This is beautiful. Cool. He liked it, you guys. Something that I wanted you guys to compare it to was if we smoothed it on a cake, you know? But it would have been too much work. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, making like so many cakes. Yeah, like because that's how you can see like how it really yeah. performs. Este se me hace como que se ve más grueso como buttercream. ¿Tú qué piensas? ¿Está más grueso o no? No, neta. No. 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 Se siente igual que los demás. Yeah. He says it feels exactly like the other one, so I I see it thicker, but he says it's not. Looks really nice. And it looks real nice, honestly. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. I really like this one. Yeah, it is thicker. I can feel it. Yeah? I can feel it. Really? <laughs> oh my god. I have whip. <laughs> it is way it is thicker. Not way thicker, but it's thicker. It is sweeter. A little sweeter, but it's not bad. It doesn't have an aftertaste. It's good though. It it's really good. I like it. It is thicker though. I like it though. And creamier. Yeah, creamier. That's this one's it. creamier, way creamier than all the other ones. Like the other ones are like more airy. It'd this be, one. I'd be, it'd be cool like if they sold the gallon of this, you know? I would totally buy it. I want to try it like with everything. It's good. All right, guys. So the next one that we're gonna go ahead and whip up is Frost and Pride. This one is a ready to whip icing and filling, non dairy. Esta también no es, uh, no tiene le lechería y es la marca Frost and Pride. Básicamente dice este que después de que se descongela en el refrigerador, igual que las otras, um, dura nomás tres semanas cuando lo meten para atrás en el refrigerador. So after you use it, um, after you, you know, it has to be kept frozen, but once you use it and thaw it in the fridge, and once you open it, you put it back in, it only lasts three weeks. That's all it says on there. So basically, it's the same thing shake before you use. Yes. And, you know, fill it up a, a third of the, a the, third bowl, of the bowl and then and mix it for five to six minutes. Yeah. And so it, they all have the same, like, instructions. Yeah, pretty much so. So they're all very similar. And they are. They all really are similar. The one that I find the most different is the Sam's Club one because it already came whipped. Right? Yeah, this one has an off white. Um, oh yeah, you can see it right away. It's not as white, you guys. You can see the off-white-ish. Yeah. We'll see how it whips up. Okay, so we'll be back in five minutes. Alright okay. guys, so once it whips up, it doesn't look that much off-white. At least not as much as the um, pastry pie, the, the pink one. Yeah. So yeah, look, it's stiff peaks. Look at that. So honestly, to be honest, it looks, it doesn't look too yellowish. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like the other, it looks like white. No, I don't know what the difference, I don't know honestly, the, there's no difference to, to um, like the consistency and all these. I mean, if you whip it right, this one is a little thick, like, um, how do you say it, harder? Stiff, like more stiff? Yeah, like more stiff. Okay, let's try and pipe it. So it's not ultra white, as you can see in the light. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys could pick it up. It's not ultra white, but it's not as off white as this one. But you could tell a little bit the difference, you know. Yeah. It's similar, dude. Mm -mm. Yeah, it is. What this one has a hard aftertaste. Hard aftertaste. Yeah, this one's sweeter, and it has an aftertaste. They all have an aftertaste except for that one. So far, that I could taste, I don't taste it in the premiere. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and review this one next. This is the. Whipping Ice brand, well, Flavor Right brand, Whipping Ice. Flavor is vanilla, and this one already says it's for toppings and fillings, right? Yes. And we're gonna try it out. I mean, right off the bat, it's thick. You could already feel it. It's not too watery. So we're gonna open it up. Look at that. That's thick. That's like, um, well, that's real thick. <laughs> no, seriously, that's thick right there. I, mean, I haven't seen. So this one basically has a little bit more information in regards to what it does. It says it creates smooth, fine lines for perfect decorating, easily incorporates flavors and holds color without fading. Wow. Light whip texture spreads easy, easier than buttercream. And obviously it's used for cakes, cupcakes, fillings, parfaits, all of that information. It says enclosed carton, 21 days refrigerator, once prepared, finished, 7 days refrigerator. So that's pretty cool. Um. Lo que, lo que dijo ella es que se puede usar para pasteles. Bruh. Básicamente lo que dije es que según esto um, hace que esté, en la, esté muy, que esté muy suave y liso el pastel que um, es fácilmente incorporado con otros rellenos y colores y que no se hace con se descolorea no se y um, que también es muy livianito y que eh, eh, es mejor que Burkin. Ok. <risa> no, pues muchas gracias señora por toda su información. <risa> 
no me entendí ni ver. Dice este chavo que se ve como más gruesa. Luego, luego lo veo que está más blanca yeah. que las últimas. Yeah, it's thicker, for sure. Vamos a ver qué pedo. <laughs> He's saying it's more fancy, que está más como elegante, no sé yeah. cómo. Yeah. Qué trenza. Está tocayo. Mm, yeah, it looks good, guys. I mean. It looks nice. You should have done that with this tip because now I always feel like that looks ugly, but it's like not. <laughs> Alright, let me try it. Y no vayan a hablar, hablar de que estamos usando los dedos. Nomás somos nosotros. Ni, ni, que, ni que vaya a usar mis pies. <laughs> <laughs> Creen que no es mi codo. Oh my god. <laughs> Now your elbows are ashy, bro. Mmm. Mmm. This is my favorite one. It's light like the pastry pie premiere, huh? This one for sure is creamier. Este es mi favorito. It has a weirder texture in your mouth, though. Because it's creamier. Yeah. That one for sure doesn't have an aftertaste. Mm -mm. This one's the closest one to Pristy Pie Premier. Sure. I like this one. I would, I would totally use it. Whipping ice? I like it. Right. Next one, and the last one will be the one that's whipping top. Yeah. Whipping top is going to be the last one. So. Let's try that out. Alright guys, so the next one that we're gonna go ahead and compare is gonna be Whippin' Top from Flavor Right. The last one was called Whippin' Ice. Um, it has basically the same information in regards to it, except it, this says that it can be frozen after application on a cake or dessert. So that's different. Like you can actually freeze this on oh, a, so you like with the cake. So you could use it for ice cream cakes, pretty much. Yeah, like because it could go in the freezer and it'll still taste good. So it's like um, refreshingly light taste, great for topping desserts. So it's super light. And you could already tell, he already put it in here, that it's like really thin. It's watery, yeah. Uh -huh. And then it says, easy to use, nothing to add or measure. You don't have to add nothing. And basically, last is 21 days um, in the freezer and once open. Oh, once it's on a cake, it only lasts us five days. So, yeah. And that's pretty cool that it could be frozen. Yeah. None of the other ones have said that so far. So, let's do it. So this one's ready. Um, it whipped up faster than the other ones. Yeah, way faster. Este se batió un poquito más, bueno, mucho más rápido que los otros. No sé si es porque está tan like delgado, tan livianito, o whatever. Pero está super blanco, miren. Yeah, this one has more air, so it's like you don't have any peaks. Like you know how the other ones you get little stiff peaks. Ven como el otro tienen como un piquito. Este no dice que tiene un poco más de aire. Yeah. So this one has yeah more air. Yeah, this one looks more airy. You see that? Yes. Okay. So as I was saying, this one's a little bit more airy, and you could definitely tell. Look at that; it's a little grainy. Se ve más granuda. Yeah, más granoso, like. Más aire. Más aire. Más liviana. Yeah, it's definitely lighter, for sure. Now you could tell it's more foamy, like right away. You see that? Más espumoso. Yeah, más espumoso, luego, luego se ve. También puede ser que está usando una boquilla diferente. All right, guys. So, basically, we're going to go ahead and give you our thoughts in regards to all of the whip. All right, so, basically, what I think, personally, me, I think they're all the same. Not the same as in, like... Like, they all do the same thing. They all do the same thing, and they just have, like, slight, like, the smallest differences. Yeah. But they can all really work. Um... If we could choose our least favorite, it for sure will be the Sam's Club one. Yes, for sure. Why? Because it takes up so much room in your fridge. It's kind of grainy. I guess the only conveniency is that it's already whipped if you don't have like a mixer, yeah. you know? But other than that, that would be the, our least favorite personally. Como estamos diciendo, este, básicamente, todas parecen igual, like, en la neta. Todos parecen iguales y este... Todas hacen la misma cosa, solo que tienen diferencias muy chiquitas. Yeah, como la, like el color y... Literalmente las recomendaríamos todas. Yeah. Uh, pero si tuviéramos que escoger la que menos nos gustó, fue la de Sam's Club. Uh, Sam's. Este, y... Está muy granosa, la verdad no me gustó. 
refrigerador también es una inconveniencia tener una cubetota yeah. en el refrigerador. No, no te van a caber los pasteles. Pero depende de, depende de la persona porque hay gente que la verdad, um, maybe no tienen una máquina y ya viene como batida. Entonces yeah. eso podría ser algo que, que les puede es? funcionar okay. a ustedes. Yeah. Todos, 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 lo único que sí los, um, lo que no les diría, like, nos supimos es que um, no los mixamos con filling. So, ya ven que las primeras dos um, les dije que una uh, cuando la misteas con feeling te sale bonita y smoothie, ¿no? Pero para la, la otra la misteas con feeling se te hace bien gruesa. Sobre las demás no, nunca las he nunca las he intentado. So. In, in mixing it, we, we didn't mix it with any feeling, so that's what he's saying that it could it could be that it could perform differently when mixing or when smoothing because the way he smooths his cakes when he uses the pastry pride premiere it comes out super smooth yeah. and when he uses the pastry pride the pink one you could see all the air and holes in it and it kind of bugs you know yeah. so i feel like with the better cream and the top and ice it would the whip and ice sorry it wouldn't be as airy as it would with this whip and top yeah. and the frost and pride those look more airy they look more uh, foamy and i mean the the sam's cup one i don't even know what to say about that one but <laughs> the green i mean maybe if you spray it with water who knows but i wouldn't buy it again to be so we can rate them i'm gonna go ahead and put what we rate them here so it's gonna be number one obviously pressure pipe premiere if you can get your hands on that number two it would be Number three, better cream. Okay. Number four, pastry pride, the pink one. Number five, pink frosting, pride. frosting pride. And number six, um, whip and top. And then number and seven, seven Sam's Club. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so um, overall, if you can get your hands on any of these, we will recommend them. Except Sam's Club. <laughs> yeah, don't get your hands on that. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is like if you, if you, um, um, do cover a cake, I do recommend you use the, either the Premier or the, the Whip and Ice. ice. Uh -huh. Don't over mix them, any mm -hmm. of them. And make sure when you whip them, they're cold, that's for all of them. So, si no está frío, no, se te, no te va a funcionar. So, te, vas, vas a estar mixeando, mixeando y nunca va a, no, no se va a llenar. Mm -hmm. So, asegúrense que esté frío, frío. Mm -hmm. Y luego, um, what would be some other tips that you can give people in regards to using whip since you've been using whip for a long time? Like, decorating wise, you guys already know he uses like the water bottle, right? Like, or yeah. what I mean, would you say? Just a spray bottle, white, uh, um, so water. Mm -hmm. Just spray it and then it'll help you get smooth with like um, whip. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, but when it comes down to like, like pigmented colors, I don't think any whip is good for that, you know? So when you try to like put red or black, like try to make any whip black or red, and I mean it's not gonna get super red or super black, but the more you, the more you add, like the more dye that you add, it tastes just different. It's gonna it have like, like a chemical taste, yeah. no? Yeah. So just, I, I mean I wouldn't recommend it, just do it with buttercream. Yeah. Like on it, you know? Well, that's some really good tips from the cake master, the cake beast. Uh -huh. Nine years of experience. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any other questions down below, I know it was kind of, I mean, it was, we try to explain it as best as we can. <laughs> a lot of talking, a lot of information. But if you guys have any questions, please don't forget to leave them down below yes, in please. the comment section. Sure um, like it. Subscribe and post your tags, man. Yeah. So, if you liked this video, por favor, um, denos un like. Y también déjenos sus comentarios ahí abajo si quieren más um, preguntas yeah. o tienen más ideas de lo que quieren ver. Y gracias por el apoyo. By the way, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm tired. You're still going to get McDonald's, right? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for all of the support. We truly love you guys and appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. 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 Bye.